an estimated 300,000 American kids are being sold for sex in America every single year. But only 1% of those kids were ever being identified. But then we realized that if they didn't have a safe place to go and to heal once they escaped, 80% of that 1% were ending up back in traffickers' hands. The harsh reality is that it's happening every day to kids right there in your community. These are kids that are being trafficked by a family member, by a boyfriend, by a peer at school. I'd been exploited since I was about 13, and so a lot of the messages I received 24-7 were how disappointed people were in me, how nobody else could ever want me. I went through my first aftercare program when I was 17 years old, and it was a horrific experience. Tough love and shaming and shunning, it really compounded those beliefs I already had about myself. So when I left, it took only three days for me to be back with my trafficker. So when we came into this space, we saw programs that were doing really harmful things. We trained 160 victim advocates from a federal law enforcement agency, and they said, we've got hundreds of cases and hundreds more that we would like to take, but we don't take them because we don't know where to put the victims. And if that's the only thing standing in the way of law enforcement kicking down doors, more places for these survivors to heal, game on. When I was at the Department of Justice, I oversaw a budget of six and a half billion dollars worth of programming to nonprofits. But of all of those organizations, there's one that stands out as really the gold standard, and that's the Safe House Project. The Safe House Project's vision is to unite communities to eradicate trafficking in America. We want to increase the rate of victim identification through education. We want to see survivors supported in escaping their trafficking situation, and we want to provide them holistic housing and healing opportunities. Every day, our team is receiving calls from victims of child trafficking. We watch them have 10 seconds of insane courage where they walk out that door, our team jumps into action. They're helping them from the moment of exit until they step over that threshold into a safe house program. I got to a point at 27 where I was able to enter into a different program, and this time it was a safe home that was specific for women who'd been trafficked, and they knew how to treat it correctly with a lot of trauma care, a lot of grace, and so we come to this place now where I had the honor of being a big part of developing our safe house certification. It's in a safe house program that survivors get to be surrounded with the supportive community who can tell them that they are loved. Every day, they beat that drum louder than the original drum beat that says you're not worthy. They say you are loved and you are beautiful and you are precious and you're capable. When you're treated like that every single day, you start to believe it. Every day I get to wake up and witness the miracles of survivors who show that post-traumatic growth is possible. And every time we see one survivor exit a life of exploitation, other people are drawn to their story. What gives me hope is when I get a text or a call from a survivor showing me the keys to their first car or that they've been accepted into college, when I get to see them doing things that they didn't think was possible for them. There's no way that you can't have hope, even in the face of incredible darkness, when you can see that one light that shines. And we don't just have one light, we have thousands of lights that we have helped you have an opportunity to be part of bringing hope into people's lives who experience the worst of humanity. Every dollar goes to saving a survivor of human trafficking. Make sure that organizations like Safe House Project have the financial resources that they need. A big lie used to keep me under the control of my exploiter was that people didn't see me. And a big part of what helped me heal from that was seeing the amount of people that came alongside me. It's not just, oh, Alia believed in me. It's all of Safe House Project, all of our donors. We believe that you're worth helping to get on that plane. We believe that you're worth that hotel room. So I invite you to donate today. I invite you to be part of the movement to eradicate trafficking in America because it is possible. I never thought that I would have the life that I live now. And I know that this is just the beginning.